What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and today we're at it again with another video. Today we're here to talk about the Google Lookout app. Now Lookout is a free accessibility app made by Google from the Google Play Store that helps users with visual impairments. Now this app currently has a rating of 4.7 out of 5 and it was last updated October 31st, 2019, which is pretty important. Now this app works by using your smartphone's camera to recognize objects and text and read them aloud to you. Now this app works on all the Google Pixels and recent Samsung and LG devices running Android 5 or higher. Now it's important to talk about things like this because we need to recognize the advantage that technology can provide to help improve the lives of everyone. We also want to do our best to be intentional with technology. With that being said, so many times we use our camera to take photos and videos, but we never think how that camera can be life-changing for someone else. So all things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So in order to demonstrate how this app works, we need a few items that we're going to use in the test. I have a book here, I have a spoon, I have compressed air, we have a business card holder, so that's gonna be interesting because it's kind of weird. And then we have this pamphlet here, which is dinner ideas. There's some text in there. We want to see if the Google Lookout app can recognize the text and read it back to us. So I went ahead and put a screen recording in the video here so you can follow along, see what's going on. I installed the app, I opened it up, and it brought us to this first page here. So in this video, I'm going to take my time and actually read some of the stuff. We generally skip over this stuff. But if people with visual impairments are watching, we want to make sure they get all the information that they need. So the first section we have here is get help with daily tasks. It says Lookout is intended to help people with visual impairments learn about their surroundings. Lookout uses computer vision models that may recognize objects or text incorrectly. You should not rely on Lookout for navigation or to identify hazards or obstacles in your environment. You use Lookout at your own risk, so please be careful to avoid harm or injury to yourself or others. Now, the next section that we have here says features that require a Google account. When in use, Lookout uses your smartphone's camera to automatically capture images and process them on your device to detect items of interest. Some features, including scene description, require you to sign in with a Google account to send image data from your camera to Google to provide more accurate information about an image's contents. So this is pretty much important for privacy. You're sharing information here. Lookout can be used without these features if you choose not to log in with a Google account. And then it just says here, I agree to Google using image data from my camera for these purposes. So I'm going to click yes, I'm in. So the next page is just giving us more information. We've got on here independence anywhere. Learn new places faster and read text that's around you. Just aim your camera and Lookout will describe what it sees. Now the next page here shows a grocery bag with groceries in it and it says hands full, no problem. You can wear your device for hands-free real-time descriptions. Go to help at any time for all the ways to use Lookout. And the next page is just going to tell us to give it a try. To get started, choose a mode or aim your camera anywhere and hit ready. So we're going to hit ready. Now we're going to have to allow Lookout to take pictures and record video. So we're going to hit allow. And before we actually start here, I'm going to pick my first item. So we're going to move some things around here. I'm going to grab the spoon. We're going to place it right here and we're going to click start. Tableware at 12 o'clock. So it's going to tell us is tableware. Stool. Table at 12 o'clock. Container at 1 o'clock. So it's not 100% Coffee accurate. table at 12 o'clock. And it's just going to keep going. There we go. We've got the spoon. Ruler at 12 o'clock. There is no ruler. Stool at 12 o'clock. And this may have to do with spoon the placement. Spoon at 12 o'clock. But it does eventually recognize it, but it doesn't get it right the first time. So we're going to go ahead and move on to the next thing. Let's see, we've got compressed air. Container at 12 o'clock. It's gonna call it a container. Tin can at 12 o'clock. Tin can, that's a little better. Bottled and jarred packaged goods. Ultra, duster, industrial, strength. The multi-purpose duster, net WT100Z. 283 grams, 311 meters. MRP Ducey at 12 o'clock. So you can actually see for that one, it read the contents of what was on the can. That's pretty important. Now we're going to try our business card holder and see what we get. Tie at 12 o'clock. Comb at 12 o'clock. So this one's going to be Bow difficult. Bow tie at 12 o'clock. 
Tie at 12 o'clock. So this one wants to call it a bag tie. at 12 o'clock. Or a bag. So we're getting a few different results there. Next, we're going to do the pamphlet with the dinner ideas on it. We're going to lay that down and see what we get. Bowl at 12 o'clock. Menu with text serves. Calories 290. 1602 container. At 12 o'clock. Menu with text salad and soup. Cobb salad with grilled lemon garlic chicken and spicy red lentil chili. Serves 1. Calories 460 at 12 o'clock. So that one works pretty good actually. It recognizes the text on here. So that's going to be really useful. The next thing we have here will be the book. And we're going to put that down and we're going to try this out again. Menu at 12 o'clock. Book. Poster at 12 o'clock. Poster with text Jed, May, Do, Bruce Lee, at 12 o'clock. Book with text Bruce Lee, Thou, Jeet, Coon, Do, Bruce Lee, Tad, Jeet, Coon, Do, Bruce Lee, at 12 o'clock. So that one, I think it was wrong the first time, but it finally did get it. So you can see that the app still has some issues. It doesn't work perfectly, but it can still be useful for someone with a visual impairment. I just wanted to get this video up because I think it's important to talk about the assistive benefits that technology can provide for users. So that is pretty much it for this video today. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now there are three ways you can support the channel. The first way is to head on over to my Amazon storefront by clicking the link in the description below. Now I only put items on the storefront that I have bought or am interested in buying and anything that you do buy off the storefront does support the channel. The next way you can support the channel is just by sharing this video with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way you can support the channel is just by hitting that subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are important because that's your way to vote on whether you like the video or the channel. Now liking and subscribing are also important for our new viewers. If they see a lot of likes and subscribers, they may think that the videos are probably good and people are subscribing because the channel is worth sticking around for. So that is pretty much it. And until next time, Leon checking out.